Harriet Namukasa has seven grandchildren to look after, many of them still younger than five. And malaria has been a recurring problem for her family. One child here always has malaria, even when she sleeps in a net. The majority of rural families do not sleep under mosquito net, while those that need malaria treatment often don't receive it in good time. Malaria remains the world's deadliest disease and its impact is felt hardest in sub-Saharan Africa. In a family like this that earns less than a dollar a day, the cost of treating the disease many times outweighs their income. The average cost of malaria drugs in Uganda is about $5 per dose. Namukasa does not earn much from digging and cannot afford to treat her grandchildren. Even if she could, access to medicines is a problem. We never get the medicine given by government. I go to the dispensary and never get anything, just maybe an injection and a few panadols. Children under five years and pregnant women are at a higher risk of being affected. Prevention policies here have focused on providing insecticide treated nets. Universal coverage is one net per two people. But in the community, sometimes they, they feel that each one should get in the household, which is impossible. And according to the description of universal coverage, so long as in the household or in a room, uh, uh, there's one net, then the other one is indirectly protected. According to the World Health Organization, nets reduce the risk of contracting malaria by as much as 63%. To debt, Uganda has secured grants worth over $90 million to improve measures to combat the disease. But malaria still remains the leading killer in Uganda, claiming an estimated 300 people per day. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Mukono, Central Uganda.